Hey guys, so it is February 22nd, 2021, and you know, I'll, I I made a video over the weekend. Actually, I didn't make that video over a weekend. I made it on Friday because I already bought in uh, that I felt that Bitcoin as well as gold, you know, we're having kind of like if it reversed, right? Basically, what would happen is that gold would have gained. And when I say gold, I'm really talking about silver. But then again, you know, because gold was down so much, way more than silver, it was actually, I don't know. I mean, they're doing like a silver squeeze right now. I'm just looking at the Bitcoin price. But essentially, it dropped like almost 20%. I don't remember the exact number, maybe 18, 17. I don't know. I mean, I round stuff up. And let me just go on into uh, Coinbase and basically... It is at, wow, it is at, well, it is at 51,000. It was at, yesterday, last night, in fact, I was arguing with somebody online. And it, it's very funny because I was saying that that's not a fucking dip, right? I mean, it went from like 58,000 something down to like 57,000 something. It's like, buy the dip, man. And then... You know, this morning I woke up, I'm like, wow, it's at 51,000. So it's not actually hard to tell when a market is too oversaturated and too hot. And that's because you have some people that never pretty much don't even know what a Bitcoin is. They just know that it's Bitcoin. And that's pretty much, you know, right? I mean, they don't know the history of Bitcoin. They don't know what it's used for. They don't even know what it is. They just know that you're going to become a millionaire when you buy it, that you know, the, that, that market is too hot. I mean, it's always been like that. And usually when that happens, I don't want to say this, but, you know, in my opinion, right, usually when that happens, they move on to the next best thing too. So anyways, I was thinking about how Bitcoin and Tesla are now exactly correlated because uh, Tesla bought Bitcoin. And whenever, it, it, it's very, very funny too, because whenever Tesla told that they were buying Bitcoin, it started going down. Now, Bitcoin went up, and now that Bitcoin is going down, Tesla is going down with Bitcoin. So Tesla never really went up after having Bitcoin news. I mean, it, because usually when you when somebody says, hey, uh, they're doing something with crypto, right? Cryptocurrency, uh, the, the stock goes up, but now it's like all down, right? Well, for Tesla anyways. So that, that was very surprising. Now, I do... Yeah, I mean, I do want to say that I do think the crypto market is way too hot. And usually, just like 2016, and even if you... I've been following uh, Bitcoin, not cryptocurrency. I don't give a shit about cryptocurrency, in fact. I mean, Bitcoin was the main boss back in 2012, right? So, you know, I really didn't give a shit about the other ones except Litecoin because there was only Bitcoin and Litecoin back then. Now there's like dogecoin there's like ethereum all these other coins but i don't really care about these other coins i only care about bitcoin so because bitcoin's a leader i mean if bitcoin falls the other ones are pretty much dead i mean it's like you know or not dead but you know it'll fall faster i mean bitcoin's the king i mean the other guys are like the subjects right i mean of course the subjects can die first if anything happens i remember in 2016 what happened was that when bitcoin went into flat mode right I mean, all the other coins went down like 90%, literally 90, 80%. I don't even know where the numbers were. But um, I do want to say I do feel it's hot. And I feel like gold is getting smashed like hell by everybody. Every single media is smashing gold. Uh, that's a good time for me to buy in. That's what I was saying in my last video before it went up a bit. And it didn't even go up that much. I mean, gold... And silver, I mean, silver has been hanging on there very well. Now, gold, I don't know. That thing is like just, it, it, it's getting smashed a lot. It might even go lower. I don't know. I mean, who knows? But eventually, people are going to catch on. Because, um, you know, something that has been smashed for so long, right, uh, it will gain attention again. And what I see is that if Bitcoin goes lower, then 40k you can expect gold to go up this way i mean especially most of the mining stocks right i mean and silver too i think silver is going to lead gold now because gold like everybody's like we got to do the silver squeeze man right they're not gonna they're, they're never they're never doing a gold squeeze so they're doing the silver squeeze and uh 
you know, if Bitcoin goes under 40K USD, you can be expecting gold and gold stocks and everything to go that way. So that's just how it is. And I think if, yeah, I mean, if Tesla sells, I'm pretty much sure that it will, uh, Tesla share will tank. I don't know. I mean, it might not tank. I mean, because when the news came out, it went down. So if the news of selling it, it, it would mean it would go up because it just got the profit, right? So anyways, um, yeah, I mean, crypto market is hot as hell. The coins. Now, the stocks. Even though the the crypto market fell, the stocks have not fell at, like fell at all. I mean, they're all still going up like 20%, 10%, even 40%. And eventually, the stocks will follow the crypto depending on which way it goes. I mean, right now, I think if it stops going up and goes flat from now on, right it will probably like if it's flat for more than six months what is going to happen is that the stocks are going to go down and they could probably hit like you know penny territory who knows right i mean because that's what happened in 2016 i mean uh, hardly anybody touched it for like two or three years until it popped up again now and i don't know i mean i like to be on the safe side i like to buy what's down like if that would that was down before I bought it. And then, you know, now that's up, I'm selling it. And my time frame is pretty much yearly or monthly. I don't buy things I plan to sell tomorrow because it's very hard to predict what's going to happen tomorrow. I mean, obviously you could get somebody that's pumping it, right? But it's very hard to predict. I know cryptocurrency is not going away, but I just feel this point in time, following crypto for almost like eight years, I think it's too hot. I mean, it, Obviously, everybody wants the price to go up, but the thing is, it needs to take a breather. I mean, you, you can't just go up constantly, just like Tesla. I mean, Tesla, like, it went up, and I was telling my friend to sell about 850. Now it's down to, like, 740-something, and he's like, you know, I don't know. I told him to buy more, and then he was like, it's too expensive. I'm like, why did you sell at 850 then? So it, it, it's very funny because, you know, I've had a lot of times where I just sat on it and just watched the stock go up, 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 and then never sell. And then it go down, down, down again. I'm like, fuck. So, yeah, I mean, I learned from the hard, like the hard way that when the market is hot, I don't care if you're selling at $50, $60, or $70, right? Because if it goes down to 30 bucks, like it doesn't matter if you sold at like 60, 70, or or 80, right? Or whatever the number was. Because if it goes down to 30, you can buy it again at 30. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I was saying, I think the crypto market is hot. I think the gold market got smashed. A lot of stocks. I was looking at a stock this morning and the gold miner, what do you call it? It was down at the same number it was at during the pandemic. I mean, you know, during the March, like uh, the March, right? Whenever that, that thing happened, the... Uh, the sellout, the sell-off, my bad. Let me try to find it. But yeah, I mean, ever since the sell-off in March of 2020, that stock went up to about $4. And now it's down to the same place it was at before. And before the pandemic, it was at around $5. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, hey, this is a, this is a good time to get in because you could... You could pretty much guarantee yourself. I'm trying to find the stock now. So I, it's like you, like if I look at the five years of history of this, the average of the stock is around five bucks, right? I mean, it'd be like four eighty five dollars. And then when the pandemic hit, it went down to one dollar and forty five cents. And now, and then after uh, into August, it went up to like three dollars and something, three almost four dollars, three fifty. And then it started going down again. And now it's down at about $1.92. So the difference is very small between the March because the, the, you know, the lowest on the March one, as I see it, is around $1.45. So $1.45 to $1.92. Difference very small, right? Because the average before the pandemic was around $5. So, you know, if you just buy that one, and you hold on, you're guaranteed to get the five dollars. Obviously, you know you, it might not be a day, it might not be a month or something, but you are guaranteed there. And if you're not good at day trading, right, 
or following the news, and obviously that is something you should do. But anyways, I, I just personally feel the Bitcoin market is way too hot. It's bound for a re, uh, correction, and not just that. You got to remember, March of last year, we had a huge sell-off. You don't know if all the investors are freaking out about the same shit, even though, you know, we don't have a pandemic it, like anymore, pretty much. But they have a memory of something bad happening in March. And maybe in March, people will start selling and then, or they just find a reason to sell because they, in order to make money, you need to sell, right? And then when it goes lower, you buy it. That's how you make money, right? So I just think, personally speaking, Bitcoin, Bitcoin stocks, Bitcoin related things are way too high. And it's bound for a correction. I'm not saying it can't go to a million in 5, 10, 20, 50 years, right? I'm just saying that right now in 2021, I feel, or February 22nd, 2021, just in case, you know, you know, it, it might go higher. But, you know, I feel that um, it is too hot. There's too many people in there. And I, personally speaking, I like to be safe, right? So... If Bitcoin goes down, gold will go up, and then when gold goes up, so I, I, I like I already started buying gold stocks. So when gold goes up, right, and it gets up to wherever I feel that it's dangerous or something, there's too many people talking about it, like CNBC and other shit. Then I'm gonna sell the gold. I'm gonna buy the Bitcoin stocks, and we're good. And then we'll wait for Bitcoin to run again. So that's just how I do it. Uh, but I just want to say I feel like I said, man, today is. Obviously, people are saying hold. I mean, you could hold. There's no nothing bad about holding. I mean, it, it can go from like, let's say, um, what the hell is the number, man? Okay, so it was 58K, right? So it went down to 51K. There's no doubt it probably get to 55K again. And then, but what if, if it gets to 55K, what if it goes down to like 45K after that, right? And then it goes up back up to like, 52k and then it goes down to 40k so you know a downtrend and uptrend are two different things and i i just think that they're doing a little correction now and i rather get into something where it's cheap where it's already down and then i could buy it like wait for it to go up again and then i just sell it and then buy the the other thing that's gone down that's that's just how i i do it uh but I don't know. I've uh, I've never really lost money, so I'm kind of really I I I, I like it. But I I'm, I don't I don't buy any of the gold anymore. Gold stocks. I mostly buy silver. I'm really heavily into silver because silver seems like it's going up much faster, and silver is much cheaper. I mean, obviously in comparison to Bitcoin, I mean gold and silver are nothing, right? I mean Bitcoin is like fifty something k, and gold is like what barely two thousand, and silver is barely thirty bucks. So, but you know, in the future, you know, you, you don't know if silver can get to $100, $200, $300, $500, $1, or $1,000. It could. Nobody knows. Because even that Michael Burry guy uh, that predicted the the fall, I mean, that shorted the financial crisis or the housing market, is saying, is telling you there's a huge inflation coming soon. Not just that. There's huge bubbles. So, I don't know. I mean, I prefer to take some gains off something I feel is high and then put it into something that I feel is low. And I think gold is low. Well, not just gold, silver too.